Hey guys, it's Wit with NatureHills.com. I'm back with a second installment of our Sense of Spring series, and this one is going to be all about fragrant bushes and shrubs. Shrubs with their smaller forms gives gardeners some placement flexibility that trees sometimes just can't. Hey, you can't go wrong with any of these options. You'll like them and your nose will love them. I've got five fragrant shrubs that are going to take your landscape to the next level. Of course, this is the part where I remind you that there are way more than five kinds of fragrant shrubs, so you should definitely go check out our site to see these and many more. Now, let's get right to it, shall we? Number five, Flowering Pieris. The unique bell-shaped flowers that, if I'm being honest, only nature could think of, complement the sweet honey fragrance of Flowering Pieris, also known as Androbita. This flowering shrub is a lesser-known variety, but all the more noteworthy for its delightfully fragrant scent. Katsura Pyrrhus is a pretty little aromatic pink number that you'll definitely want to add to your cart. Number five, Flowering Pyrrhus. Growing zones five through eight, year-round interest, and bell-shaped flowers in the early spring. Number four, Gardenias. Gardenia is one of the most unforgettable scents in the game. These are wonderful additions to a garden in need of some southern charm. Gardenia's high demand for humidity makes it hardy in southern climates, but can be grown as a houseplant in cooler climates. Try the customer favorite Frostproof Gardenia or Jubilation Gardenia for an exquisite fragrance lasting all summer long. Number four, Gardenias. Growing zones six through 10, performs best in southern climates and has a distinctive pure white blossom. Number three, Butterfly Bushes. The large cone-shaped blooms and the honey-like fragrance of this native Fudlia go together like yin and yang. You'll just love the scent and the birds, bees, and of course, the butterflies will flock to your garden because of it. Your pollinator garden isn't complete without a butterfly bush, I promise. Try Perfecta Trifecta for a collection of three top-rated varieties of the trademark honey scent of Budlia. Number three, butterfly bushes. Mainly growing zones five through nine, fast growing, and a range of color options. Number two, roses. You can count on ragusa types as well as many hybrid teas to give you that unmistakable rose fragrance. Although not all roses are scented, so take care when selecting. Check out our blog, Why Are Some Roses Fragrant and Others Aren't, if you're interested in the topic. I'll link to it below. Try Hansa for a reliable rose scent or the spicy, fruity, bicolor blooms of the Perfume Factory Hybrid Tea Rose. Number two, roses. Growing zones depend on the cultivar, wide range of sizes, styles, and colors. And number one, lilacs. When you think of an intoxicatingly good smelling flower, you have to think of lilacs. They evoke a sense of nostalgia and romanticism, making them a charming and delightful addition to your garden. Try Purple Glory for that classic purple lilac color, or the Petite Miss Kim for fragrant, long-lasting pale lavender pinnacles and superb fall color. Number one, lilacs. Growing zones four through eight, boasts some of the most fragrant flowers in the plant world and long-lived. If what gets you out of bed in the mornings after a long winter are scents of spring flowers, think about adding one, two, or hey, even a dozen to your landscape. Go crazy. Which shrubs are your favorite for fragrance? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to check out our countless options at naturehills.com. As always, if you like our content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. And for more plant info and inspiro, check out our Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. And until next time, happy planting.